Now, a short time ago, Spencer caught up with Mitch Matthews. Let's listen in. Mitch, obviously very emotional locker room. Uh, what was the, the message for uh, your team from the coaches inside? A couple messages. Um, you know, how we acted after the game with that fight was not appropriate. But speaking of the game, we, we, we battled, and uh, the seniors fought hard. And they can leave with their heads held high because they battled. And uh, it was really emotional because you're going to miss them. And they did everything they could to battle for us. So. This team has to gather itself now, uh, falls to eight and five. How much time will it take you for you to recover after a, a double overtime loss like this? Some guys is different, but I mean, uh, there's always a, uh, people think you got time, but there's no time. So we're gonna be back and uh, I'm gonna miss those guys for sure. That's gonna take a while to get over the seniors leaving, but uh, and some, of my, some of my best friends, but uh, as, as a next year's team, we're gonna be back tomorrow, so. Let's rewind and talk about the game a little bit. Uh, obviously, a shootout back and forth. What did you like today that your team did on the field? Battled, honestly. I, I saw guys step up, and uh, some of them knew it was the last time on this field, and they battled like it. And things didn't fall our way uh, towards the end of the game. Balls were tipped exactly for them, and uh, it, was, it was not the way we had hoped. But uh, like I said, we battled. We really did. And uh, I'm proud of our guys, and everyone can honestly leave and say that they played their hardest. Did you have a conversation with Christian Stewart? And if so, uh, what was uh, that conversation like? Just told him I loved him, and I really do. He's one of my, one of my best friends, and uh, he's a great quarterback, a great guy. He's helped me improve. He's given me chances, and, uh, and I'm never for, gonna forget him. He'll be a guy that I'll lean on for the rest of my life. I know it's early, but how can you grow and what can you learn from uh, a double overtime down to the wire loss like this? Something, something that Coach Mendenhall said in the locker room was, uh, that wouldn't have to happen if we played our best football during the game. And so, you know, we can we can fight after the game, we can yell, everyone can be pissed, and we can cry, but uh, that can all be changed by how we play in the game. And uh, we started fast, but we need to start faster. Um, we ended well, but we need to end better. And uh, that just comes down to better preparation, and no one feels bad for us, no, no one does. And so uh, we got resilient seniors that are gone, and they've trained us to be next year's senior class. Um, better than them. So and that's what they want for us. Mitch, we certainly appreciate the time after a tough loss. Thank you guys.